What's up, everybody? It's your boy Randall D. Tech Geek RLD back again with another video. Today, we got the iPhone 10 on Xfinity Mobile. Now, if you don't know too much about Xfinity Mobile, it's a partnership between Comcast and Verizon Wireless. So, you already know Verizon has excellent coverage almost everywhere. And then you got Comcast who has the best in-home Wi-Fi experience, the best internet coverage, things of that nature. So that's like the best of both worlds, right? The best home experience, the best outdoors wireless coverage. And now we got the iPhone 10. So it is what it is. This is your boy Randall D, Tech Geek RLD. We're gonna talk about some of the features of the iPhone 10, the pros and cons of the iPhone 10 coming from Android, things of that nature. I'm not gonna give you a full unboxing. I'm pretty sure you already saw that on CNET, MKBHD, Austin Evans, and Gadget. They already did full reviews and unboxings. So this is just a Tech Geek RLD's perspective of this phone on Xfinity Mobile and at its current price structure. If you got any comments or concern, please leave them in the comment section below. So take a look at the phone here. Let's get started. All right, so as we all know, the phone itself is a beautiful phone. The color I have is the white color and it has a glass on glass design, which enables for wireless charging for the first time on an Apple device. Inside the box, you get a pair of AirPods and on the back of the AirPods packaging, you get a headphone adapter because the iPhone 10 does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. As we all know, that's, this is Apple's way of trying to push technology forward. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack been on devices since like 1990. You know, the cassette players, the Walkman, you know, now we got Bluetooth technology and all this wireless technology. This is Apple's way of trying to push mankind into getting rid of the headphone jack to save space in the device and things of that nature but you still got your samsung if you need you know you need the headphone jack but anyways uh inside the box you got the headphones you also got the lightning adapter for your headphones and you also got the ac adapter which i have already removed from the packaging but we all know what that looks like right your typical white brick you plug in the wall and it is what it is all right so next let's talk about some of the specs of the phone real quick now if you used to pick this phone up the phone comes in two colors it comes in a space gray and it comes in a silver which is what i have in front of you guys today the capacity of the memory comes in at 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes i chose 64 gigabytes for the sake of how expensive the phone is as far as the display the phone comes in at a super retina hd display of 5.8 inches that supports hdr the resolution is a little bit shy of 1440p which comes in at 2436 by 1125 with a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with that i mean long story short what that just means the screen is going to be beautiful sharp and crisp long story short as far as the processor it has one of apple's latest processors which is the a11 bionic chip like i said all these specs long story short as far as the process is concerned just means the phone is going to be fast stable when you click on an icon the phone the app is going to launch when you click on a game the game is going to run smooth and perfect long story short the processor is it's going to get the job done as far as the camera is concerned there's two lenses on the back of the device both of them are 12 megapixels one of them is a wide angle f 1.8 aperture lens the second lens is a telephoto 2.4 aperture lens with optical zoom digital zoom up to 10x so as far as video is concerned with capturing video with the two lenses you can do 4k in 24 frames per second 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second at 4k which is the first for a smartphone the 1080p does 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second not to mention you can do slow motion video at 120 fps or 240 frames per second for slow motion so I mean, at the end of the day, when it comes to the camera, this this is premium. When you pay a thousand dollars, 
the camera department is 100 that's all i can tell you the front camera comes in at seven megapixels with portrait mode portrait lighting and emoji 1080p hd video with an aperture of f 2.2 so the back camera the front camera both of them feature hdr when you take your pictures or when you record video this is the phone you take with you to anniversaries ceremonies weddings the camera on this phone is guaranteed to get the job done now as far as the camera is concerned the camera gets the job done 100 percent take a look at some of these photos i took this is the back camera as you can see every single photo is sharp and crisp if you look into the background look into the clouds and in the sky you can see the color is very nice and vibrant and detailed you can see just a little bit of everything in a photo we're really pushing up on dslr and mirrorless camera territory here looking at this photo the tree is nice and sharp the shadows you can read the text engraved into the cement again this camera does it justice take a look at the front camera here pushing up on dslo territory again the background has a nice bokeh effect where the tree is nice and blurry in portrait mode this photo here the, the camera is also in portrait mode again to give you that nice dslr blurry background type effect which is bokeh again this camera just simply gets the job done if you need to shoot professional photos or casual photos this is the phone to get in the camera department all right so by now we all know photos look good what do the videos look like right so next i'm gonna play a sample clip recorded from the front camera using the video capture of the phone this video footage is captured at 1080p at 30 frames per second on the front camera it is what it is check it out front camera on the iphone 10 just give you a little quick example of what the camera looks like you know just in case you try to vlog or things like that so we out here at bicentennial park just get some quick footage it is what it is nice sunny day perfect day to come out get some footage in nashville so camera looks pretty good look at the screen the video footage looks really nice i hope it looks like this on a computer when i'm editing but the camera footage looks really nice so i do have a phone on a tripod so i can hold it more steady so it is what it is tech geek rld all right so now we got the front camera covered take a look at some of the back camera video footage this scene here is captured at 4K, 60 frames per second. Please set your TV or monitor or phone accordingly, de depending on which device you're watching it on. But as you can see in the video, the frame is so smooth. You can see every single train moving down the track so smooth. Now, as far as some extra footage is concerned, I want to touch on the camera department one more time. As you can see in this footage here, this is captured at 60 frames per second at 4K. Now me being in editing in the studio, I'm changing the frame rate of the video. But as you can see, even when I drop the frame rate to slow motion, the frame is still sharp and crisp. Just to give you an example of where cell phone video footage is headed nowadays. As you can imagine, this speaker at full speed is pumping like really fast. Like, you know, you watching the speaker with your bare eyes, it's at full speed as it flexes the air and produces the bass in the car. But to be able to drop the frames down to like 10 to 20 frames per second so you can see it in slow motion at 4K from a cell phone. That's, that's highly impressive. So just some little extra footage there to kind of wrap up the, the review or the overview of the iPhone 10. Well, for the most part, that wraps up my thoughts and opinion of the iPhone 10 on Xfinity Mobile. With the Galaxy S9 around the corner and with all these other top tier flagship phones out there and these other expensive phones, you gotta ask yourself, is $999 for an iPhone, is it worth it? I mean, yeah, the phone is beautiful. The phone comes in at a camera resolution of 4K at 60 frames per second. It has glass on glass design. It's water resistant. You can drop it in a puddle. You can drop it in a toilet, drop it in a sink. You can capture excellent photos and video. 
You can play games on it at full speed, excellent performance. This phone pretty much does a little bit of everything, but with still competition from Samsung with the Galaxy S9 around the corner, and not to mention the cheaper Galaxy S8, which you can pick up for the low price of about $500 nowadays, you gotta ask yourself, is the iPhone 10 really worth it at $999? I will answer that for you, but I can't, so. It is what it is. It's your boy Tech Geek RLD coming at you with another video. You know I'm an Android fan, so stay tuned for the next video, which will be of the Galaxy S9. When I get that in my hands, you're guaranteed to see some video coverage of that. It's your boy Randall D, Tech Geek RLD. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social networks, follow me on Instagram, Tech Geek RLD, and it's a wrap. Before I get out of here, you know my slogan. They gonna learn today. All right, y'all.